Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cover. I am Penjo and welcome back to Crusader Kings 3, where last time out we saw the start of the reign of Swain, who ascended to the throne of Cupboard following the death of his father, King Radwald II, who died of old age at the age of 67, which is pretty good. That's pretty good. He had a very good innings. That's quite a good age to get to in this particular time period. And he did many good things during his time as king, but none were more important, I'd say, than taking huge chunks of land from both Ireland and and Scotland. I mean, there's, what, three Irish counties left and a handful of Scottish counties remaining, which is very, very achievable. We can do that. We can absolutely do that. I mean, it does place quite a lot of responsibility on the shoulders of young King Swain here, but he's a very bright chap. He's very, very clever indeed. He's a clever chap, he is King Swain. So I think he'll be absolutely fine. Now, there is a tiny little problem that we do need to take a look at first before we get things underway. And that's the fact that King Swain here and his wife, Queen Agath, Agat, possibly, I don't know how you say that, but this lady here, so the Queen, they have produced no children whatsoever, which is not brilliant news, really, is it? So, of course, the line of succession, the proper line of succession, is currently broken because normally you play as your character and then when your character dies, you carry on playing as one of the children. But there are no children for us to carry on playing as, which is all sorts of bad. I mean, I don't know what you two have been up to. I don't know what's been going on here. I mean, have you been writing decent letters to the stork? Have they been addressed to the right place? Have you made sure that you check for grammar and check for spelling? Because storks are very hot on that. If you've got a really terribly written letter to the stork, oh, they're not going to bother. They're just absolutely not going to bother at all. So I don't really know what they've been doing in their letters to the stork, but they've clearly not been sufficient enough to actually get the stork to bring them any children, which is a bit of a shame. Now, we are going to play, if Swain were to die, with no direct sort of heir. We will play as Prince Ordgar, so Swain's brother, which would be okay, because Ordgar is also very, very good. Look at that. I mean, that's some wonderful stats. He's a genius, he's comely, and he is an elusive shadow. He has got the top education trait in Intrigue. He's very, very sneaky indeed. But really, ideally, I would like the proper sort of line of succession to carry on. I would like Swain to have a child to pass all this on to. However, I just don't know how that's going to happen. I mean, a few people in the comments have quite rightly pointed out that the Queen is 55 years old. And they're saying, but Penge, she's 55 years old. That is why the Stork is not bringing them any children. But I mean, yeah, she's 55 now, but... When they got married, she wasn't 55. She was significantly younger when they got married. And I went back and had a look. And on the little sort of marriage pop-up screen thingy that appears, it did say, chance of children, medium. So I don't know what's been going on. I do not know what's been going on here. I'm a little bit sort of, I'm a little bit at a loss as to what we can do about this. The only thing that I can see that's a possible kind of saving grace to this is that her health is poor and she is ailing. So she is a lunatic. So she's got her minor health penalty and that is making her a little bit unwell. Now, Swain, I believe, yeah, he's fine. He's got an iron constitution. He's an aspiring blade master. So he's absolutely, he's happy as rain. He's all sorts of good. But yeah, she is a little bit under the weather. Now, whether that'll just, you know, carry on and she'll live a good long life or whether she will pass away of natural causes in the relatively near future, I do not know. I mean, a few people in the comments have been saying, wouldn't it be terrible if something bad happened to the Queen? Wouldn't it be terrible if all of a sudden she were to be horribly, brutally murdered? But we're not going to do that. We're not going to do that. King Swain, he's diligent, he's calm, and he's patient. He's not going to go murder his own wife. <laughs> that's that's just not his way. So I think we might just wait a bit and just see if, you know, nature takes its course. Do you know what, though? I think now it's time to let war take its course, because I think we should go and have a bit of a fight with what remains of Scotland, which is not very much indeed. So we have a claim on the Duchy of Strathclyde there, and that comes from this chap here. That comes from Duke Torgir, who was the chappy that we kind of, you know, we brought over to our court following the naked juggling incident, which we do not talk of. We do not speak of the naked juggling incident with Duke Torgir. It's very embarrassing. But yes, he has the claim up here, which obviously we have pushed, and he's got that land up there and yeah we'll give him this as well we'll give him this because that is a huge huge chunk of land for us so that's very good so hello scotland we'd like to have a war please so yes duke torgir's claims we will do that so if we do that he gets the duchy of strathclyde everybody becomes his vassal that is wonderful oh we don't have enough prestige oh we are a little bit short on prestige okay there is something that we can do about this. So, of course, Duke Radwell II claimed the Kingdom of Ireland. He said, yes, I am the King of Ireland. And then he got rid of that entire title. He just sort of destroyed the title of the King of Ireland. So it no longer exists. 
because it would have caused problems with the succession and all that kind of stuff. But now he's gone and Swain is here and Swain is relatively young and hopefully the reign of Swain shall be long and glorious. I think, I think we should restore the Kingdom of Ireland title. Let's get that back. So we've got enough counties. We've certainly got enough money and it gives us 400 lovely prestige. So let's create that title, please. So yes, please, we want to now be the King of Cupboard, but also the King of Ireland. So there we go. Right, now we're a double king. Can we now go back and do that? Can we go back and have a fight with you and push? Oh yeah, we're going to get all the, we're going to get all the de Jure kind of claims coming in now because we are the King of Ireland, we can quite rightly say, well, hang on a minute, that's Irish, that should be Irish, we're the King of Ireland, can we have that back, please? Oh, that's very good. Okay, that'll be quite handy. However, yeah, there we go, 675 prestige. Let's get this underway. So, have they got any allies? No, it's allies one, but they don't come up. So I assume the ally is somebody that they can't call upon. So maybe they're allied to one of our vassals or something, I do not know. Do you know what, can we find out on here? They're allied to... Earl Lachlan of Angus. Okay, they're allied to one Earl. Okay, I don't think we need to worry too much. In fact, what is your strength? 7678. Why does it say 9325? Okay, whatever the case, I think we can probably muddle through. So, okay, let's declare ourselves a tiny little bit of war. King Duncan IV really, really hates us. Okay, here we go. Right, where's our little sort of uh, rallying point thingamajig? The music is building. I mean, I think this should be relatively straightforward. I think maybe we'll go for their... Do we go up to their capital? I think we should work our way round the, the duchy that we're trying to get. So work our way round here and then hop over there if that's not enough already and go and get the capital. I think that's quite sensible. So here we go. Raise everybody over here. Now, do we need everybody? Okay, but hang on a minute. Let's just, let's just get time ticking over. Why have you appeared all the way down here? Why are you all the way down here? Oh, however, we have gone up in, um, in fame, which is good. We're now distinguished. Okay, that's pretty good. Happy with that. Right, those guys have formed. Right, are you the siege squad? No, of course you're not. I'm going to guess the siege squad are down here really far away. Of course they are. And, ah, good. We are the head of the Cupboard Dynasty. That is very encouraging. Right, so you guys move there. You guys move there. And you guys go over there. Are you going to get attrition from that? I don't think you're going to get attrition from that. Okay, you can start sieging that down. Now, they're immediately going to go up here, aren't they? They're going to start trying to siege down these places here. Because, of course, they're ours now. So they're going to go over to Dunkeld. Oh, Dunkeld. Oh, there we go. That's where all the Dunkelds are from. Lots of our relations are from there. Okay, that's good. We've discovered Scootage. Is that good? Do we want Scootage? Is Scootage a thing that we're excited by or not? I don't really know what it is. What is Scootage, game? Oh, okay. It unlocks some sort of feudal contract. Okay, so yes, instead of them providing lots of military support, they provide coin instead. Okay, right. I'm not too fussed about that, but okay, I'm glad we've got it. Right, how long is it going to take us to get this? Four months. That's quite a long time. Oh, it's quite, it's quite well protected. That's quite well protected. Hang on a minute. Hang on. They've abandoned their siege up there and they're coming over here. Do you know what? We might be all right with that. You guys, how long is that going to take? Six months. How long is that going to take? Eight months. Okay, so what we'll do is we will get this one done first. So let's get that done. Let's move time on a little bit quicker. So get Anan sieged. Um, my sister Elfrith is plotting against my knight Simon. Oh no, my own sister? My own sister is, hang on, isn't that her, that's her brother-in-law. You're plotting to kill your own brother-in-law? That's not very nice. And he's called Simon of Itchington. He's from a children's story. How could you? How could you want to kill him? He sounds lovely. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh, yes, we're going to siege this, aren't we? So Anan will be done in no time at all. And Wolfwyn has given birth to a son. Okay, that's very exciting. That's a, that's a really good name. Yes, we'll have that name, please. Why can't they pick their own names? I mean, I guess it's trying to get you more involved in the game, but it's all fine. They can choose that. Right. 10% and now I believe they're not going to get any war score from the objective because we have a bit of the objective which is quite nice. Now how long is that going to take? Four months. They're on three months. However if we pop you guys over. Oh no hang on that's that's not right at all. There we go right pop you guys over there. You can go and join in the fight here which should then start the siege down. Yeah there we go there we go. It's a matter of days. Okay so boom we get that. Then we go over here and join these guys and then we go over there and have a fight because fights are also good for getting lots of war score. So, hello, we're coming over to say hi. How long have we got? Two months. Oh, absolutely fine. Absolutely fine. Right. Let's try and catch them. 
Let's try and catch them a little bit. Now, oh, hang on. Hang on a second. Hang on, hang on, hang on. We've got no commander. Don't don't catch them now. We have no commander. Hang on. Um, okay, that guy would have been quite good, but he's busy elsewhere. He's commanding his own armies or whatever. Um, not Torgir, because he's got all these claims. We don't want him to die. Um, Edbert, do you want our brother to die? Oh, these are all... These are all terrible choices. I mean, do we put us up front? We're quite good. We're okay. I mean, do we put us up front and just you know, have ourselves a bit of a fight and be an inspiring kind of leader here? I mean, I think we'll be fine. I think we'll muddle through against those people. So, yeah. Oh, look. The other ones. Oh, no. They've each got that. Because oh, they're not all together. Of course, they're not all merged. Okay. Right. So, right. We're there, but we're not actually taking part in this. Oh, my goodness me. Yeah, that... That was a victory. It was not the greatest victory of ours ever, but never mind. But we did manage to kill... What's that? 3,300 of their troops, which is pretty good. Okay, so that's quite a big hit to them. Right, okay. Where is Siege Squad? So Siege Squad, can you go back over and siege that, please? In fact, is that just going to send everybody over? Yeah, that's sending everybody over. I didn't want everybody to go and do that. I just wanted the Siege Squad. I feel a little bit betrayed by Duke Selene here. I've done an awful lot of good work for you, Duke Selene. I've given you land, I've given you duchies and all sorts, and now all of a sudden, you're now starting a faction against me to try and get yourself onto the Irish throne. That's not going to happen, my good sir. I mean, your military power is very, very tiny indeed. It would be nice if you could support us a bit. We were quite nice to you. Or maybe we weren't, but certainly our dad was. Our father was very kind to you, so that's a little bit mean. That's a bit mean there. That's not very good, though, is it? That's not very encouraging at all. Ah, however, however, Duke Torgir is part of is part of this independence faction here that is relatively strong. I imagine, I imagine if we actually win this war, which I think we can probably muddle through, if that does happen he will be quite happy with us because we're going to give him a load more land and a load more stuff. So yeah, he'll probably drop out of that independence faction and that'll bring that all back down. Okay, right, it's all fine. Scotland have gone over there. They're trying to unsiege that place, but that's going to take them a heck of a long time. So I don't think we need to worry too much about that. I mean, if we wanted to, we could just send those two in to go and have a fight while the siege squad get on with the job of sieging. I mean, yeah, I think we've... This is us. This is us. Oh, we've been wounded. Okay. Okay, that's the chance you take, and we don't seem to be wounded in any way. We're fine. Oh, oh, our amazing kind of, our amazing surgeon guy has, has sorted that out already. Oh my goodness me, hang on, that is wonderful. You only like us a tiny little bit. Um, that's very good. I'd like to, I'd like to reward you in some way. I mean, sending you a gift, 50 gold, that's, that's nothing. And 33 opinion. Thank you. Thank you, my good sir, for making sure that I'm not horribly injured for ages. Right, siege squad, get up there. I think that's going to be it. I think when they siege that down, I think that's all going to be it. And Prince Aymeric and Princess Ethelberg can get married. Ah, okay, right, he's come of age. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. It's the matrilineal one. So, yes, please, make that happen. Yep, splendid stuff. Jolly good stuff. Right, that's very nice. So, we've now got ourselves an alliance which is our first alliance, and they've got almost 14,000 people that we can call upon. That is very, very handy indeed. Right, let's just get these two moving around a bit so they can go into places where they can actually be supported. Uh, they can't be supported there. They can be supported there. And yeah, we just need to make sure that, that the Siege Squad just get the job done. I think that's going to be it. Are they going to come down and try and attack Siege Squad? Is that where they're going, or are they going somewhere else? Um, oh, somebody's trying to claim Nottinghamshire. That's very silly. That will never work. Don't be so daft about that. Right, they've come straight back here. They've come straight back there. I mean, what's the what's the war score for battle? Man, max is out of 50, doesn't it? Do you know what? It's fine. It's fine. We need to get through, what, two months? Two months, one month. Okay, right, it's absolutely coming down. There's a siege event every eight days. I think, hang on, hang on. Isn't the guy, the guy leading this is good at sieging, isn't he? Yeah, he's a military engineer. So the siege time is sort of, you know, the sort of uh, phases of the siege are coming down very quickly indeed. So this is going to be done. Oh, look at that. That went for a huge chunk. And there we go. It's done. 100%. We shall enforce our demands. Thank you very much indeed. And there we are. Duke Torgir likes us a little bit more, which hopefully means he will drop out of that faction. Let's stand our troops down, which is all very good. And there we go. 
we have ourselves another big chunk of land and Scotland is looking very vulnerable. Hang on a second. Hang on. Oh, wonderful. Right, let's become the King of Scotland as well. There we go. Let's usurp that away. Relatively expensive, but it's fine. There we go. Right, we're now the King of Scotland as well. I mean, this is all going very well indeed. I mean, it, you know, you've only just sort of took over, Swain, and you're already the King of Cupboard, the King of Ireland, and now the King of Scotland. I mean, well done you. I think maybe you should get yourself a slightly better hat. But do you know what? That will come in time. That will absolutely come in time. And with that success done, I think now let's go over to Ireland and do some more war. So where can we set up over here? So we've definitely got a claim on Ossery over here because we sort of uh, fabricated one of those. So so I think we can go and have a war with with you. I feel a bit bad about declaring war upon an eight-year-old, but do you know what? It's fine. All's fair in love and war. So yes, that is our claim. So we'll push our claim with him. So yeah, we'll get the title. That is 70 prestige. That's that's nothing. We've, we're fine with that. So we'll declare war on you. That'll be done very quickly indeed. Is it worth, is it worth just raising all the troops? Can we declare war on you lot as well? Can we declare war on whoever's in charge of this place? Yes, we can. Okay, Earl John has a claim on this. Okay, Earl John, what do you look after? You look after that up there. Um. Okay, or we can just get it Diore and the person who owns it now takes over. I mean, Earl John doesn't like us very much, so it might be quite good to get him in our good books a little bit. So, okay, so we can declare war on you. And we still haven't raised our troops, so that's going to be fine. Okay, right, so another war declared and then can we declare war on you as well <laughs> can we just like do the three remaining irish counties in kind of you know, one job lot i rather think we can okay this is splendid stuff so yes we can either seize the duchy or the earldom yeah let's go for the earldom we might as well just get the earldom because it's going to be cheaper in terms of prestige as well isn't it and then we can just create the duchy afterwards if we want to because yeah we'll own all the right bits of land so yeah okay so we'll have the earldom it's 90 prestige that's all uh, the only thing is, the only thing is he does have, oh, this was the, this was the king. Of course, yes, this was the former king who probably really hates us, but he doesn't really hate us. I'm very surprised that he does not absolutely hate us. He's sort of all right with us. I mean, he likes us for the fact that we're calm. I don't know how calm it is declaring war on three independent Irish counties all at once. Doesn't seem overly calm to me, but whatever the case, there we go. So, um, so yeah, he's sort of all right with us. But yes, he had the alliance with France, didn't he? And I assume that still stands. Right. Okay. So if we do this, we're going to want to go and get that place first. Go in, get that place done, capture that. Once that's captured, that's it. That's the war over because we're only fighting for this one particular earldom. So yeah. Okay. Get that done as well. Oh my goodness. We're just declaring war on three places all at the same time because then we'd have to keep raising our armies and dropping the armies and all that kind of stuff. So, okay. Right. Raise all of the armies again okay right france have joined i believe so we need to make a beeline over there to get that done so right where are the siege troops just there okay right you guys head over there get that done nice and fast i mean can we just send if if people do show up if people do show up we do need to keep our troops nearby do you know what that's fine that's absolutely fine oh yeah they're going and sieging other places yeah, you're up there. You're up there on that kind of mountainside area. These guys are down here. However, that's going to take them 15 months. Oh, 14 months. And that's going to take five months. That's not too bad, actually. That's not too bad. Ah, we get ourselves a perk. Let's get healthy. Let's get healthy. That gives us a medium boost to our health, which is very encouraging. This is wonderful stuff. I like the fact that Swain has got all these in really early on. Because normally, you come to these at the end. When you've got, yeah, you know, when you're getting on a little bit and your characters, you know, getting a little bit kind of old and they start ailing a bit, you kind of come over here and you go to medicine focus for the tiny health boost, and then you try and get down all these, thinking, right, quick, give me lots of lovely things, make me live a bit longer. But Swain's got all these done first. He's got all these done right now, which is completely brilliant. So we will go for whole of body because that's fertility up, which could possibly be useful. I don't know. Uh, but also another boost to health and stress gain is down 20 percent that is completely brilliant so yeah we'll have that next time uh, this place is going to fall in a matter of days it's not long until we get this and then yes that means the french can just oh botherations okay right we hadn't kind of planned for this i didn't think the french were going to come straight in right they're attacking siege squad siege squad are going to lose this because we're not going to get there in time but i think afterwards oh hang on a minute hang on no 
No, no, no. That's that's not gone entirely according to plan. Can we bring our people back? Can we bring them back? Or are they now? I think some of them are actually going over there. Yeah, they're they're gonna. Oh, hang on, but they are recently disembarked. They're recently disembarked, which might give us a chance. That might give us a chance. Hang on, can we merge everybody and then have a very good commander? Who is the best? It's us. We don't have any special abilities, but do we really want to put us at the top in, you know, right into battle on the front lines? Or do we go for aggressive attacker? That's more enemy fatal casualties. Yeah, that's really inconvenient. Why don't I just put everybody over here? Okay, never mind, never mind. Right, the mistake has been made. You know, Swain, he's new at this. He's new at the whole war thing. Um, Let's put it in. Let's go in again, because we are pretty good. So here we go, here we go. Right, let's go in, have a fight with France, who seem to have disappeared. I don't quite know where they are. Oh, they've come into here. Okay, right, you guys go back in and help. You guys come back in and help, because... The war is not going entirely our way. And we've been wounded again. Oh my goodness me. Ah, right. Okay. The French have sort of hurt us quite a bit. And we have been wounded. Okay. However, we could get some mercenaries on board. And the guy's done it again. <laughs> well done, sir. Well done. Yeah, this... Okay, right. Uh, right. Maybe. Just maybe. We bit off a little bit more than we can chew with this. Um... Right, let's go. Where are they going? Oh my goodness me. They're going to run away all the way over there. <laughs> that doesn't help. That's incredibly far away. And now the French are just at liberty to just go and get all this stuff. Okay. Okay, right. This this is not gone. This has not gone well, but we can work around this. It, it's all fine. It's all good. Okay, my uncle has informed me of an obscure law in the Earldom of Argyle that states that none but the king may be its protector. Normally such an archaic law would be dismissed, but it offers me a unique chance to put Duke Siegbert, my vassal and current ruler of the Earldom of Argyle, in his place. Okay, so I can then say the law is clear. The king has full rights. We're going to claim on him, but then he gets quite cross with us and he doesn't like us much anyway. And then Siegbert can keep the title by my grace. He likes us for that. Um, I think we just let him keep it. I don't really want the Earldom of Argyle. I mean, I'm sure it's lovely. I'm sure it's very nice there, but he can keep that because you know, he's got it now anyway. And that means that he'll like us a bit more, which is very good. Okay, there we go. So obscure law found. Right, we're trying. Yeah, our army are... Our army are not getting much bigger. Yeah, okay. Right, what we need to do is, what we need to do is get everybody all back together. Get everybody up to full strength. Then head back over here. And we've, oh, we've discovered primogeniture. Okay, that's very important. That's quite a big, important thing. Right, there, over here. France are causing us a little bit of bother. So what I think we need to do is, <laughs> look at these numbers here. Oh, Swain, it's very much a baptism of fire, isn't it? Don't worry, we can turn it around. I think what we do is, let's go and grab ourselves some lovely mercenaries. Let's get some mercenaries in. So let's go to here. We've got an okay amount of money. We've got an okay amount of money. Could we, could we go and have a chat with the Pope? Could we go and have a chat with, with your popiness and just say, hello, can we ask for gold? No. No, we're already wealthy. Ah, right. Okay, right. That might change in a moment when we go and spend it all on people to go and kill other people. Okay, right. Let's have a look at what mercenaries we can get. And more importantly, one with a really good commander might help quite a bit. Okay, we want to get... I mean, that would be... That's going to bankrupt us. That's going to bankrupt us. That would be brilliant. But then we could go to the Pope and say, hey, Pope, can we have some, some money, please? Because that would really help. I mean, that's 619 for another 3,000 people. That guy, that guy's a bit rubbish. Hang on, can we have him with a good commander? These guys are all terrible. Can we have a, hang on, where are the good commanders? Where have all the good commanders gone? There we go, right, you, Captain David. Okay, you are, you're very expensive. You're very, very expensive indeed. What about you guys? That's only 12. Wakes guard, he's, oh, he's quite good for supplies. Okay, what have they got? Big bunch of levies. Huskars and horsemen. Okay, they've got Huskars, footmen and pikemen in levies. That guy is a bit better as well. Do you know what? Let's hire those guys. Now we have no money left at all. Then we go over to your popiness and say, hello, lovely hat. Can I have some gold, please? We spend 250 uh, piety. That's fine. We get 750 gold. Okay, <laughs> there we go. Thank you, your popiness. And now, get everybody together. Pop over here. Just get everybody in one great big group. And then we'll go and have a fight with some people. 
Um, oh, I forgot to I forgot to choose what we're really fascinated in. Hang on, hang on. We're a bit of a war going on. Slightly preoccupied. Uh, right. Okay. What do we want to go and be really interested in? I mean, thinking of Swain. Swain is very very clever. He doesn't really like the fighting. He's not overly good at fighting. I mean, yes, he is doing a lot of the fighting right now, but only because he's got the ultimate end goal of getting us our lovely wonderful empire set up. So yeah, he's not really overly keen on the fighting. So I don't see him going for things like bombards and plate armor and all that kind of stuff as exciting as it is i see him going for this promissory notes which means development growth everywhere goes up by 10 percent that seems like a very swain sort of thing to do you know he's already focusing on development in his lifestyle so yeah that's quite good so that's 13 years and then development across everywhere is going to go up 10 percent that's got to be a good thing that is wonderful stuff right here we go. So everybody just converge in the same place. I know we might have some slight supply issues. Right, and then that guy goes in and he is brilliant. Right, okay, Oh. okay. They're having a bit of a fight. Right, we need to come in now. Are we going to, hang on, go over to here first. Um, Ethelbert's given birth to a daughter. Good stuff, yay. I kind of noticed that your husband was in jail there, but do you know what, it's probably all right. And we are ill, okay. Right, so all the times you've you know, wounded, uh, sorted sort out my injuries on the battlefield, and you're fine. But now I've got a bit of a cold, and we have to have this thing. Okay, um, do no more than what is necessary. I've just got a little bit of a cold, so let's hope this is good. And there we go. Right, so a little brighter. Um, when Zakai entered my chambers, he was followed by an air most foul. The stench's origin was in a jar in his hands, a mixture of cow's dung and herbs for your poultice, my lord. Mmm, sounds lovely. When Zakai proceeded to smear it on my chest, I almost retched. In the end, the poultice turned out to be just what I needed for now. The worst of my symptoms are alleviated, and the world seems a little brighter. Okay, so reduced disease symptoms, and a huge boost to disease resistance as well. This guy is brilliant. He is completely brilliant. Well done. Right, we don't have the disembark penalty, because it's like a sort of a forward type crossing. Okay, right, now let's go in here and have a war with France and hopefully get rid of them and make them go away. Plus six, plus ten, plus six, plus sevens. There we go. That is much better. I'm preferring seeing these numbers. We do need to get that one sorted. Okay, we've gone up a level of fame, which is very encouraging. And let's go straight over there. Let's go straight over there and get that one sorted, because that is the war that we're most likely to lose. So let's go over there. The French are going to sort of, uh, going to just sort of slope away. And we are well again. Lovely stuff. Yay. Oh, and our betrothal has been fulfilled and our daughter and her fella are now married, which is wonderful stuff. Right. Let's just go and siege this. Come on. Come on. Get over here and siege this. I think there was a little bit of a skirmish in there, but that's all good. Some more people coming in, interrupting the siege. Oh, this is going to be done in, in so little time. This is going to be done in moments, which is wonderful. All sorts of other stuff going on. A holy letter. Okay, we're going to write a nice letter to the to the Pope, are we? Okay, so we're going to write a letter. I sit down with the scribe and together we craft a truly splendid letter highlighting His Holiness's... Now, why don't we like that? Why do we stress out? Ah, there is a chance of stress if the Pope thinks that we've insulted him. But we might get... We might get learning lifestyle from this. Okay, so what is the current Pope like? He's content, he's wrathful, and he's shy. Okay, content. Okay, how is this going to work? So, empathy and kind heart. Uh, I mean, he's wrathful. So I don't think he has much in the way of empathy and a kind heart. Loyalty and a sense of honour. He's sort of wrathful and shy. So I don't think he's got that. Clear rationality. Is that what content does? Or only superior God? We could just get ourselves... 100 piety. I don't think that's... Is that going to work? I think he might find it a bit insulting. Um, yeah, and then the Pope's not going to like us. Do you know what? No, it's fine. Only superior God. Yay, yay for all that kind of stuff. Right. How long is left in this? Okay, all sorts is going on over there, but it does not matter. As long as we capture this war target, that is it. There we go. That's what we wanted to do initially. Right, so end that war... That sends France away. Bye-bye, France. It was lovely that you popped over, but now you can just clear off. Right, now you lot go over there and sort this place out. Because then when we claim that, that's this particular war done. Then we get that place sorted, and that's our other war done. And then we can just stand down for a little bit. Yeah, that that wasn't... That wasn't as uh, as smooth going as I kind of hoped it was. But do you know what? We've, we're sort of muddling through. It's all good. Oh, that's good as well. 
That's very nice. 216 monies coming our way. Thank you very much, steward. Okay, so we've claimed that place. So let's enforce our demands over there. So Earl John is now going to take over that place, which is good stuff. And then, yep, yeah, got a favor hook on him. That's good. We can get, wow, well, we can get whole of body. This is very good indeed. Okay, so unlock that. That's excellent stuff. Okay, right, Swain, hopefully, barring, you know, murdery, murdery, stabby, stabby in the nighttime, or, you know, poisonous gold, or whatever else, you're going to be around for quite a long time, which is very good. And then, move our troops down to here, we claim this place, and that is it for war for the foreseeable future. And the days are counting down until this is done, and boom, there we go. Right, claim that, thank you very much, that's all very lovely. I think I claim that. I think that actually becomes mine because it was my sort of uh, fabricated claim. Yeah, look, it belongs to us. Yay, that's exciting. Okay, so we get some fame and all that kind of stuff. So be it. Right, disband the troops because they're expensive. They're quite costly. And now, I don't think there are any original Irish sort of counties left. There is man. Ah, that's interesting. Hang on, hang on. Can we go to war with you? Yes, we can. Oh, okay, right. Maybe we are going to do some more fighting. We're going to have a truce with... Petty King Duncan the Third, but okay. I mean, hang on. Who's gonna? Who's looking after this? Who's looking after this place here? So we can seize the Petty Kingdom of Lothian, or the Earldom of Lanarkshire. Okay. And then what land does he have up here? So yeah. So he's got the Diore Duchy, Diore Counties. Can we not seize lots of Diore Counties at once? No, we cannot, unfortunately. Okay. Never mind. Never mind. We'll seize the Duchy. So then how is that going to work, though? We're going to seize that duchy, but there's still going to be some left. But then, yeah, we have got man over here as well. Um, there's a dangerous faction as well. Which is this one? It's this one here. Um, I mean, everyone seems to everyone seems to quite like us. I don't quite know why they want to put these people on the throne. Okay. Oh, it's the guy that was on the throne. They kind of wanted to go back onto the throne. Okay. <laughs> That's... I, it's understandable. I kind of get where they're coming from with that. Okay, um, right. So I don't think the factions are going to cause too much trouble. I think we can manage the factions. I mean, we have got about 25,000 people and our troops are still sort of topping up. That is a little bit artificially inflated by the um, by the uh, sort of mercenaries we brought in. But there we go. That's fine. I'm thinking maybe we might go and have a war with with uh, these guys here from the Isle of Man. What do we do? Do you're a duchy? Do you're a county? Yeah. We can go to war with them and get Leinster. And that's then Ireland sorted. The Ireland, the island of Ireland will then be kind of sorted. Yeah, let's go and do that. Let's declare war. I know I just said we're not going to go to war in the foreseeable future, but yeah, this was an unforeseen event. So declare war on you. In fact, you're not gonna you're not gonna vassalize, are you? You're gonna say no. Um no, hang on, it'll be hang on. Why can't we request vassalization? We can do that, can't we? Or is it gonna be you? Is it gonna be you that we have to go to for so if you want to become our vassal, offer vassalage. So yeah, rather than going to war, you can go to people and say, hello, would you like to actually just join us? Because that would be nice. But um, but yeah, he's he's saying it's only minus 21. Only minus 21. I wonder if, I wonder if we could increase that with a little bit of money. If we sent him 165 money, he would gain 57 opinion of us. Okay, would you then want to vassalize? Minus one. Minus one. If we sway him, if we sway him over, a 70% chance of that, that might actually help quite a bit. He might then vassalize. He might just go, yeah, right, you, I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll work for you rather than working for myself. That's all good. And that'll save us a whole lot of bother with, you know, all the fighting and all that kind of stuff. Oh my goodness me. Nature has indeed taken its course. Death has popped round and our wife has died at the age of 60. Okay, this, I mean, he is a bit sad. It's a bit sad. She died of heart failure. Oh, that's all rather terrible indeed. Okay, so Swain is now 41 and he finds himself without a wife. So I hope you find peace. A tiny bit of stress. He's not overly bothered, but he is quite a calm chappy, of course. So, okay, I mean, it's very sad. It's very sad, but it does, it does kind of help us out a little bit because yes, maybe now we can get some children. Okay, what's going on here? Scott's culture. A commoner of Scots heritage has been accosted in the streets of Northampton over some minor offence. By making a statement of their defence, I could perhaps convince Petty Kingshaw of Man, the equally Scots of my good character, but I might risk alienating my Anglo-Saxon peers. The Scots are good people, so he likes us a little bit. Ah, that's kind of what we want. Or we just... So yeah, get 10 opinion of us and there is a bit of a chance that we spend some prestige. 
which isn't brilliant because we don't have loads of prestige. Or we can just say the Anglo-Saxons are better. No, 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 no. Um, I mean, if we can try this, he's going to gain 10 opinion of us. I mean, is that enough to, is that enough to make you want to? Yes. Offer vassalage. He's going to accept. Yes. Okay. Right. Well, that's, that's that sorted then. However, how is that still, does that not come over? Hang on a minute. I thought that place would come over. How do we make this place come over? Who's, who's looking after this here? I'm very confused because it says man, which would imply to me that the Isle of Man look after that. But now he's our vassal. We don't have his, we don't have his land. He's not coming under cupboard still. He's still his own colour. He's still yellow. Okay, hang on. Hang on. No, I'm not, I'm not overly happy with that. I want him to be, I want, oh no, there we go. He hadn't accepted. Okay, there we go. Splendid. I thought it happened instantly. Oh, that was, that was very easy. Do you know what? Cancel that thing. Cancel that. Absolutely. We don't need him to like us that much anymore. Yay. Okay. That saved a bit of fighting and a little bit of trouble. And now we're just down to just a handful of Scottish counties. And that's it. That is it. Oh, this is very exciting. This is very exciting indeed. Right. Hang on. Right. There are a few things we need to do. What's that? Um, oh, there's people. In oh, yeah. We've probably got a load of people in prison. Nine prisoners. Okay. Right. Let's go and sort out the prisoners. Okay, the prison is now empty, which is all sorts of splendid. So next job, let us find a wife for King Swain. So let's have a look at who we actually can get. So I like the idea of, I mean, let's get somebody with traits. So traits, inheritable, and let's order it by some of all skills. So let's see who we have. Now, ideally, we do want people with some decent traits. So yeah, like genius or comely or whatever. I and mean, if we could marry a genius... That would guarantee that any children, should they have any, I mean, yeah, I'm not counting on it, but should they have some, they will also be geniuses. So that could be quite good. I mean, this lady here, she's got some very good stats. She's only 28, her health is fine, and she's a genius. However, she is also sadistic and impatient and brave. Okay, right. So yeah, she's impatient which means that, uh, yeah, Swain is patient, so they're not going to get on. In fact, they're really not going to get on. And yeah, the opinion of Elise is also down as well. So she's not going to get on with him, which is unfortunate. Okay, okay, let's keep looking through. Let's see if there's anybody else that, you know, jumps out as a really good candidate. Okay, I'm thinking we might try something a little bit different and a little bit unexpected, because why not, eh? Let's give it a go. So the traits that have these little sort of green diamond backgrounds they come under these different groups here. So the Bright Minds group is the ones with the candles in. So whether you're quick or smart or genius or whatever. So three tiers of those. And then there is Beautiful Characters group of traits. So that's these, whether you're comely or beautiful or pretty or whatever. And then there's the Physical Specimens group, which are these ones here, which are hale and robust and like, you know, Herculean or Amazonian or whatever. And if you get a character... If you have a character, you're playing as one who is the dynasty head and they have one each of those particular traits. So a bright minds trait, so a candly trait, a beautiful characters trait, so one of these sort of uh, flowers traits, and then physical specimens, one of those ones there with the kind of sort of chain type thingy in them. If you have a character with all of those, you can then strengthen your bloodline and the cupboard dynasty gains strong blood, which is a small boost to health and then a chance of inheriting good traits goes up by 40%, and a chance of new good congenital traits goes up by 400%. I mean, that's a little bit crazy. 400% to get new good traits. I think it's well worth giving that a go. So we want to find somebody who's got hail, because, of course, yeah, Swain has already got genius and comely. He's already got the bright minds and beautiful characters traits. So we want to get somebody who's got these in. I mean, there's a couple of people. There's a couple of people... I would quite like somebody, I mean, yeah, this lady here, I know she's not, she's not landed or anything. She's a lowborn, but she's very good. Diplomacy, we're all right at diplomacy. Military, not so bothered, but I mean, she's got really good learning. She's got very, very good learning and she's already the right religion and all that kind of stuff. And she is content, she's diligent and she's gregarious, which does sound very good. I mean, yeah, diligence, we'll probably get on. We'll probably get on because, yeah, they're diligent. But then this lady here also has some good stats. She's not quite as clever in the learning aspect, but she is compassionate, she's generous, and she's diligent. So, so she sounds good as well. Ah, yeah, her health is good. Her health is just fine. Let's go for this lady here. We can convert her sort of religion over. That's fine. Yeah, let's go for you. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That's wonderful. Right, hang on. Let's just check you out. What's going on here? So, ah. Right, you were married once upon a time, but now you are not. I won't get any alliances from it or anything like that. And 
yeah, you're, you're quite good. I mean, stats-wise, you're pretty good. You're okay. And look at that. Inheritable traits. Well, if we could get that to work, if we could get that to work and we could strengthen our bloodline, that would be completely brilliant. Um, yeah, okay. Let's give that a go, shall we? There we go. Let's see if that works. So that's very important. So we want to get that done sooner rather than later. Please accept that. Okay. Splendid stuff. Right, and now you... You two, can you get writing letters to the stork, please? Because, I mean, you're, you're 25. You should be able to write very, very good letters to the stork. That would be very good, please. Because, yes, we could do with a child or two. That would be really splendid. Okay, Petty King Waldeve here of Lothian. We could go to war with him. But, again, I'd quite like to offer vassalage. I'd like to give that a go. However, he's not really going for it. So his base reluctance is minus 45. And he's got some pluses in there. We're of a different culture. That's kind of understandable. But then, yeah, he doesn't like us. His opinion of us brings that down by minus 10. So I think, could we... Could we give him some money? Pay him 150 gold, 56 opinion. Okay, that brings that up quite nicely. He's still not going to accept, but it's now only minus 15. So again, let's try and sway him over. Let's try and sway him and just see if we can actually make him, you know, sort of vassalize. Rather than having to go and have another terrible bloody war, we can just go and, you know, make him, you know, come over to us nicely via the medium of diplomacy and talking. And this is completely brilliant news. Queen Verkoslava, I imagine that's pronounced, is pregnant. This is very good. However, hang on a minute. Um, can you please convert to Catholicism as well? That would be great. I can't wait to hold the babe in my arms. It's going to be a very significant moment. It's going to be a huge, huge moment to do. Oh, she already has a child. Should I have been aware of that, possibly? Okay, where are you now? You're over in someone else's court. Okay, didn't kind of check that out. Is that going to cause problems? Is that child going to feel like he's got claims on anything? He's got some other claims on some places. Um... Okay, hopefully that will not have any bearing on anything to do with us. Hopefully that child will just go and live a wonderful, splendid life and never bother us. Okay, we've been invited to a feast. Do you know what? Why not? Let's go to a feast and have a splendid time. Right, so Duchess, Herogith. So yeah, she's of power down here. So okay, yep, absolutely. Let's go and have some nice food and drink. Oh, okay. I seem to have inadvertently exposed somebody's relationship with somebody else. Okay, so my cousin Duke Edward there and my acquaintance Juana. Okay, I, I mean, I'm not really that bothered, but okay, right, I've done a thing and it's probably terrible, but never mind, I'm sure they'll get over it. And we have ourselves a daughter. Oh, this is wonderful. Right, here we go. So, what do we want to call her? And she is currently our player heir, because, of course, she is our only child. So, I mean, if we don't get any other children, we will be playing as a lady for the first time in the game, which is very exciting. I kind of, I kind of hope that might happen because that could be all sorts of interesting. But okay, I mean, what do we want to call you? What do we want to call you? So we can call you after an ancestor, a good Catholic name or a good Anglo-Saxon name. I can't be doing with the crazy AE kind of hybrid things. I don't really know what's going on with those. We've already had a Christina. We've had a Christina already. I do like the names beginning with C because it's lovely alliterative. So, you know, Christina Cupboard, Clara Cupboard, all that kind of stuff. Um, okay, let's think of a good name that begins with C. Do you know what? We'll go for the name Carolyn. That's quite nice. Carolyn Cupboard sounds very good. So there we go. We shall call you Carolyn. May you grow to be strong and wise, my daughter Carolyn. Now, very important. Let's go and look at Carolyn Cupboard. Oh, she only got one of the traits. Oh, that's a bit of a shame. That is a bit of a shame. I mean, it's good that she's got one of them. It's good that she's got one. But yeah, that's a, that's a little bit disappointing there. That is a little bit disappointing. I was hoping for at least two, if not all three. That would have been completely brilliant. But OK, I mean, there we go. So Princess Carolyn, I mean, let's let's educate you anyway. Might as well educate you very, very early on. We will go and educate you. There we go. So we will now be teaching you about all the stuff, which is pretty good. And yeah, we're quite a good teacher as well. So I think that'll be quite effective. Okay, back at the do, back at the big old party that we probably should not be at anymore because, you know, we should be possibly tending to our newborn child. But uh, okay, it's fine. Um, we can either, we can either say, I would like another drink. There's a 10% chance that we become a drunkard. Or we can say, no, thank you. I don't want to become a drunkard. I do not want to get a terrible negative trait. So, no, I've had quite enough, I think. Thank you very much. Just tea for me now, please. I'll just have a nice cup of tea, thanks. And that's it. We're going to come home. There we go. We lose a bit of stress as well, which is quite good. We didn't have much, but there we go. We're back down to zero stress. And she likes us a little bit more, which is pretty good. Oh, my goodness me. Elfwyn has given birth to two daughters. So we're going to call them Wolfwyn and Wolfhild. No, let's give them Catholic names. So we'll have... 
Uh, Catherine, yes, a C. We can't call them both Catherine. That's just that's just crazy. Um, we'll have another Christina and a Catherine. There we go. May they be strong and wise and all that kind of good stuff. Oh, crikey, we've been invited to another feast. I mean, we don't want to go to too many feasts because we do know what happens with these. We get a little bit kind of overweight and then we get obese and then it's all bad. But okay, I mean, it's probably what? It's only our second one that we're attending that we've been sort of, you know, whilst we've been playing as Swain. So I'm sure it's fine. So it will be my pleasure. Here we go. Oh, it's in it's in London, no less. This is very exciting. This should be very fancy indeed. Okay, right. So we're all here. Does she like us? She's okay with us, which is pretty good. So, okay, let's see what happens at this particular shindig. Okay, some more people spill out of a cupboard and end up revealing that they've had a little bit of a naughty relationship. Okay. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Duchess Philippa of Essex. She's one of our... She's one of our powerful vassals. Okay. Okay, fine. Well, there you go. Right, so that's happened. <laughs> Those things are a bit weird. I mean, it says we can imprison her. It says we can imprison her. I don't really want to chuck her in prison. I think that's a bit harsh. But, I mean, yeah, at least we've got something on her. So if she starts causing trouble, we can at least try and use that to our advantage. Um, John. John, what is going on, John? You're you're having a terrible time. Uh, right, so he's hiding in a corner. A load of people are coming over and he can't get out. Um, so either we can just distract the guest or we can just uh, mock him a little bit and make him uncomfortable. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. That's not Swain's way. We'll go and help him out. We'll distract the guests so he gets an opinion of us and, uh, yeah, we get a hook on him, which might possibly be useful at some point. And our mercenary uh, contract thing has finished. It's gone away because, yeah, we've sent all the people home now, which is splendid. And there we go. Right, we lose some more stress, which we don't have anyway. And then she likes us a little bit more. Oh. Oh, right. She was the... Ah, right. Okay, so the one that got discovered tumbling out of a cupboard in a slightly unfortunate kind of compromising situation with somebody else was actually the one that was hosting. Oh, dear. Okay, right. Well, never mind. You get some more opinion of us back. Yeah, that, that wasn't brilliant, but uh, you know, at least the food was nice. For every step Benedetta takes toward me, I can feel my mood drop. What does the doxy want now? King Swain, you would not believe what the churl Simon did today. Not Simon of Itchington. He can't do anything bad. Uh, I cannot imagine what possessed her to slander Simon in front of me, but she could not stop soon enough. An unpleasant interaction as usual. Okay, so we gain undoubtedly courted for five years. Okay, so we get some piety because this lady is trying to is trying to court me. But, but hang on, what? That doesn't make any sense. She, it, it makes me miserable. It makes me miserable. Why do we get, why do we get piety for that? Okay, I'm just going to press okay on that because that just seems a little bit strange. But okay, I mean, I'm not going to, I'm not going to turn it down. That's quite nice, but that does seem a little bit odd. And we've enjoyed a day at a tournament. Right, hang on. Do I want to make our knights like me better or do I want to get some prestige? I mean, our knights are... Our knights are okay with us. We could do with our knights liking us a bit more. Yeah, there we go. We'll cheer on the knights. Yay for the knights. So hopefully, yeah, they should be pretty... They should be pretty happy with us. Yep, yeah, that's all very good. And we have a new perk for the learning lifestyle. Okay, I mean, I'm thinking immediately scientific. I'm thinking that. Swain is a clever chappy. And yeah, we can get our cultural fascination stuff up by 35%. Absolutely, we will have that. So yeah, now we're going to get ourselves promissory notes in seven years. That is coming down very quickly. Yes, yeah, Swain is doing very, very well indeed at the whole sort of tech stuff. Good job, Swain. Okay, this lady is continuing to pester me. Can you please go away? Go away, strange lady. I don't want you around anymore. Um. Okay, what do we do? So we can say... Oh, right. Okay, right. We can we can go and try and write letters to the store with her. That's probably a terrible idea. We could do that there as well. We can just say no. We can say no, please don't do that. And we are going to basically you know, tell everybody or we can just oh, no one will attempt to seduce me for 10 years. I mean, that's probably a good thing. That's probably a good thing. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to go for that. There you go. I tired of these games. Leave me alone, all of you. I have only eyes for my lovely queen here, Queen Verkoslava. She's the only one for me. So everyone else can just you know, clear right off, please. Oh dear, we might have a bit of a problem with a faction. So the faction has presumably got enough power and they're saying, yeah, they're saying that this chappy here who was the King of Ireland, they're saying, hey, he should be the King of Ireland, which I mean, yeah, I kind of agree. He probably should be the King of Ireland, but we're not going to go for that. We're not going to go for that. We've got 30,000 troops to bear. So I will not be threatened. 
you are not going to have the throne of Ireland. Yeah, if we do that, that chappy gets Ireland back and all of our work over there is just it was all for nothing. So no, I will not be threatened. So here we go. We're going to go and have ourselves a bit of a civil war. Now, the other thing is, where is everybody going to appear? Um, yeah, there's quite a lot of... We can't raise our armies. Why not? Why can we not raise our own armies? Because that's a, that's a little bit worrying. Um, oh, okay. All these... Ah, right. Okay, okay. Right. A lot of people seem to have rebelled against us. Okay. <laughs> it's all fine. Right, where do we need to take? What exactly is going on here? So who do we need to... Oh, my goodness me. Right, okay. The, the decency teacups have had to be deployed. <laughs> Oh my goodness me. Right, there's a lady there who seems to be not wearing any clothes, but it's fine. The decency mugs will be definitely in place. Um, okay, okay, th that's a bit of a surprise. Right, where do we go? Where do we go? I mean, it's over in Ireland. It's over in Ireland. We just need to kind of just fight everybody. Okay, now can we raise our troops over in Ireland? I can't believe that the person leading this fight is a lady that's not wearing any clothes. Okay, we'll go to here and we'll take out those troops there because that's the guy who is actually who wants to actually go on to the throne so we'll raise all of our troops over here i mean this takes quite a long time to raise our troops because there are so many of them also we have a couple of council positions empty which is unfortunate um okay edbert you can go and do that please because you seem to be quite good at that and then spy master i wonder if our spy master's in this group of people that's gone up against us um 25 yeah get our brother in hi ordgar how are you come and do some spying don't kill us please right troops all kind of raised let's get the siege troops whichever ones they are probably the ones furthest away because they always seem to be yep yeah, those guys down there we'll get those guys straight in over there to siege that place down because that makes sense we'll go over there and siege that um, where else can we go and siege? Is this place part of part of the war? I mean, is that is that going to help? I'm not entirely sure. Can we send you guys down there to see if that's worth sieging as well? Oh, and meanwhile, can we get this guy to become our vassal now? Yes, we can. Offer vassalage. We're just there. We are just, just there. I mean, we've been swaying him and all sorts. But yeah, okay, right. Offer vassalage. Let's do this without fighting. Let's do this without any kind of bloodshed whatsoever, because that would make sense. And there we go. Right, so he has now come over to us, which is brilliant. There's quite a lot of people over there. 15,000 people. There's another, another what, 10,000 over there. Okay, there's quite a lot of people. There's quite a lot of them. Okay, right. Everybody is going to have to... Yeah, they're coming over here. They're coming over here. Right. Everybody get over here. In fact, no. Everyone get here, including you lot including you guys. So forget the siege for now, because they're going to be recently disembarked. So if we can go and get them while they're recently disembarked, that's got to be very handy indeed. I mean, yeah, oh, they're trying to get away. They're trying to get away. They've kind of turned up and gone, oh, there's a lot of people there. There's an awful lot of people stood right there. Can we go and get them in time? Can we get... Oh, hang on a minute. 18,000 versus their 15,000. Are you the siege squad? Sorry, siege squad. Go back and do more sieging, please. I thought we had less people than that. I don't think we're going to get them in time. I don't think we're going to get them. I think they could get onto the sea just... Ah, just missed them. Okay, that's a bit of a shame. That's a bit of a shame. But never mind. Right, do you know what? You lot can all just sort of stand around there and wait for them to come back. Oh, there's 23,000 people over there. Okay, okay, it's all fine. We, we can do this, we can do this. It's all good. I mean, saying that, we might need to actually buy in some... Uh, we might need to buy in some mercenaries. And also, could we call upon our good friends here? Could we call you to war, please? Can you come and have a bit of a fight for us? Because you've got quite a lot of people on board. If you could come and help us, that would be completely brilliant. Yeah, they're not going to have their disembarked penalty thing anymore. Right, come back over this way, please. And yes, we're going to bring in some people to hopefully show you the way. There we go. We'll hopefully kill you a bit. Yeah, look at that. That is, that's 26,000 people right there. That is a lot of people. Yeah, let's just get this sieged. That's at least something done. Oh my goodness me. <laughs> that's a lot of people. That's a lot of people that we've got to, uh, that we've got to deal with. That's about 31,000 people. Yeah, we could do with our allies coming in very, very soon. Hang on a minute. Can we hire one of our holy orders? This is completely brilliant. Yeah, we'll have this, please. We'll have an extra 8,800 people that are all completely amazing. Yeah, we'll hire you guys, please. There's 8,800 that have appeared at no cost at all. Okay. 
So we can't get these guys, because yeah, we've already got one holy order, so you can't have any others. But okay, these guys are completely free, which is amazing. Okay, that's very encouraging indeed. Right, let's get... Hang on, right, no, you guys go and join those. Oh, this is, this is going to be brilliant. This is going to be very good indeed. Right, everyone just pile in here. Get that siege done there. What's that? That's days remaining. Come on, come on, get it done, get it done. And boom. Okay, right, now they've also taken a place as well. Get those guys in over here. That gives us a great big pile of troops. We need those guys to get in because I want to merge everybody. So we have one very good, very capable leader. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Get in and merge. Get in and merge. There we go. Right. Merge everyone together. That's 31,546 people. But now we can go and get some actual mercenaries because we've got quite a pile of money. So let's go through and get... Yeah, those... Oh, they had a terrible... They've got a terrible general guy. You, you're terrible as well. Um... Do you know what? It's fine. We'll have the people and the general can just sort of sit there and twiddle his thumbs or whatever. Um, yeah, you. Let's get pikemen, crossbowmen. Uh, yeah, let's get those in. So hire those. Right, so bring them in as well. So drop you guys over to there. Oh, this is gonna this is gonna be good. This is gonna be absolutely fine. We need to get up there and we need to have an actual fight with those guys. So right, you guys pop over there. Okay, good. We now have a lot of people. Let's go. Um, yeah, let's go over there. What does that guy have? Cautious Leader and Desert Warrior. Okay, I mean, we're in Ireland, so that's not the most useful of things. But, okay, let's just go over here and see if we can have a fight with somebody. If we can have a bit of a fight, that's all good. What have they got? They've got Ulster. And that's it. Oh, okay. That probably should be quite fine. Again, have to remember to put the uh, the decency mugs in place when we go to that screen there. That's going to get quite tedious, isn't it? Right, we've arrived here and everyone has scarpered, which is not very impressive. However, we're going to catch you down here on the beach and they have themselves the disembarked penalty. Oh, however, it's not looking particularly good for us. I don't quite know why. I don't quite know why. Oh, they're defending a river crossing. It's still looking pretty good in terms of numbers. It's still looking okay. Right. We're hopefully going to win this one very nicely. They keep piling people in, but just sheer volume of numbers means that we're going to win this. And there's some hacking and slashing going on, all sorts of terrible stuff. They're all being killed a little bit. Okay, up to 6%, which is quite nice. Oh, and look, there's our buddies. Our buddies have just arrived. Hey, buddies. Okay, that is very good. Um, People are leaving the war. People are dropping out. People are dropping out. Is that because she's been captured? I'm afraid to click on this in case she's the, the nudie lady. Um, no, right, there's the nudie lady game. Right, okay. <laughs> Decency mugs, deploy again, assemble. Okay, right, we, we should have this. We should have this nice and sorted. Let's go over to, let's go and get Ulster back. So we'll go down here and get Ulster back. In fact, let's stop off here, actually, and, and attack these guys. So fight the people from the Duchy of Essex who are against us now. Have a bit of a fight with them. Then we'll get Ulster back. And then we'll pop over to the places that have risen up against us. We'll go and get some capitals, I think. Okay, the people from Essex ran away, which is all a bit unfortunate. We couldn't catch them up, but never mind. Right, so we'll unsiege this. That's a pretty good start. Oh no, Elfnoth is dead. Our uncle is dead. Okay, right, we need to get ourselves a better marshal then. Uh, Duke Shaw. Duke Shaw of Man, you're very good at doing the whole marshalling thing, so in you come. Okay, right, Ulster is unseaged, which is very good. Let's go over to, let's go over to there, and we'll grab that, I think. We'll go and sort of uh, take this place. We'll take a few, oh no, that's one and a half thousand casualties. Let's go there and siege down this place instead. That seems more sensible. Oh my goodness me, right, somebody else has died. He's died of the Great Pox. That's not very encouraging, is it? People dying of the great pox is generally bad. Right, let's get you in because you are you want to be on the council. So in you come. There you go. Uh, right, we've nearly sieged this place here, which should be quite a nice chunk of war score, I would have thought. So there we go. Boom, that's up to 31. I mean, where's the... Who is the leader of this revolt? Who is the leader? Or do we have to go and just go and get their individual sort of... Their individual capitals? I think that's what we might have to go and do. I mean, they're over there sieging an awful lot of Ireland. We might want to go back over there and do some more fighting, I think. But, I mean, yeah, we're going to have to work our way over there, which is very annoying because, yeah, we are going to take attrition, which is not going to help. But then we could work our way over there. Where are our buddies? Where are they? 
Yeah, they're trying to siege that back, which is quite tedious. Do you know what? Let's go back across here and try and have some more fights with their sort of now relatively scattered armies. Okay, so we've caught these guys, so I think we might beat these guys, although we do have a really bad, really bad kind of score going on, but I think we'll win that battle. Okay, so that's a nice victory. So what are we on, 31? Up to 38, okay. And everyone else is now trying to run away. Our allies are coming in. They're doing some good fighting as well. Well done, allies. Splendid stuff. Uh, yeah, everyone else is running away. Ah, however, but they're coming back in. And they're going to have the disembark penalty. Let's go and help our buddies. Well, they do seem to be doing a pretty good job on their own as it is. So in you come, in we go. Right, more fighting, even more, <laughs> even more war going on. And... Yeah, we're, we're just killing a lot of them, I think. Okay, up to 55% now. The only thing is, where do we now go? Where do we now go? I kind of think we need to go down here somewhere. Or do we do we start... I don't want to click on that because it brings up it brings up Duchess Philippa of Essex. Hang on. Duchess Philippa of Essex. Let's go over here, look. Let's go over there. We'll siege that place down because that, surely, if she's leading it, if she's leading it, Duchess Philippa of Essex is the one who's you know, actually sort of attacking us. So we're defending against her. If we take that down, surely that's got to be very good. That's got to be a huge, great big pile of war score. And we've got ourselves another one of these. Let's have pedagogy, pedagogy, that one there. The one where awards can get additional skills, because that's always quite good. Hang on a minute. Duchess Philippa has been taken captive. So we've just arrived down here to try and siege down her capital. And she is now no longer part of the war. Okay. That's very convenient. We don't have many people left who are as part of the war. Okay, what about going over there then? Well, don't go through the middle and lose like thousands of people. Go go on the sea. Go on the sea and do that, you fools. There we go. Go out that way. And then we'll drop in onto the onto the Duchy of T. We'll drop in onto the capital of the Duchy of T. And then we'll try and siege that down. Okay, Carolyn, our daughter, is very, very inquisitive. Yeah, she's very curious. So diplomacy and learning. Okay. That's interesting. So she's got a base diplomacy of one and a base learning of one, but she gets an extra point of diplomacy because she is comely. Okay, right. How about we make you go down learning? I like the idea of learning. So there we go. You can go and be clever at doing the learning, just like your old man. And we've lost another counselor. This one has drank himself to death. Oh, he was really good as well. He was really, really good. Okay, that's a bit of a shame. Right, let's move Elfwine over to there and then get ourselves a new chancellor in. Um... Yeah, we want to keep Ordgar at doing that. Okay, what about Cigared? Yeah, in you come, Cigared. That's fine. And this place is going to be sieged in no time at all. Hopefully this will end this, this little tiny rebellion and it will all be sorted. There we go. Right, everybody, clear off, please. I mean, it's nice that you've got your clothes back on as well. That's quite nice. So there we go. Hostages taken by all war participants will be released. And yet the faction kind of falls apart. They can't join other factions. And then we chuck loads of people in prison. Okay, let us enforce those demands. Thank you to our allies. Right, that comes at a very good time because we are almost broke. So there we go. Disband the troops. Ireland is still ours, which is good. And now we've got, oh my goodness me, we have quite a lot of people in the prison. Right. Okay, these people have been in prison for quite some time as well. Okay. <laughs> wow. That's a lot of people in our prison. I imagine we've had to you know, build a little annex on the end of it just to you know, cram a few more people in. So with that Irish rebellion now entirely quashed and dealt with, which was, I will admit, quite tricky. That was slightly trickier than I thought it was going to be. But do you know what? We called in some allies. We got the Holy Order and it was all fine in the end. So with that now dealt with, I think we will finish up for the moment. I was secretly hoping that we'd be able to get this tiny, tiny little bit of Scotland remaining. I was hoping that that would be sorted and then we could create ourselves our glorious new empire. But uh, but yes, alas, the kind of Irish rebellion sort of got in the way there. But never mind, never mind. Next time we will go over here. And I think, yeah, there's nothing to stop us going to war. We can go and grab a great big load of claims. We do need to get those places down there. Who owns, who owns this right now? Who owns that? Um, Petty King Shot. Oh, you own all of it. Oh, okay. Right. Oh, you own the two. Oh, that's a bit annoying. There's going to be another kind of truce period thing. Okay, never mind. Never mind. We're, we'll, we'll come back and sort that out. But yeah, it might take a little bit longer than I was expecting because, yes, he owns two kind of bits. These are a different duchy to that duchy up there, which is a little bit unfortunate. So we won't be able to get that quite as easy as I was hoping. But do you know what? We will get it. And then 
then we stand on the verge. We stand on the very verge of history and destiny because then we can get ourselves a wonderful, wonderful empire set up. But uh, we will do all of that hopefully next time out. Hopefully you are still enjoying this. If you are, then please do leave a like. That would be most splendid indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on here next time out in Crusader Kings 3. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard and I will see you next time. She's still heartbroken. <laughs> She's still sick. Oh, Colleen, you're, this is not your day, is it? Sean Bazzini is going to defecate. How's the lounge looking? <laughs> Do you like the plants? I left them there, especially for you guys. <laughs> is there some sort of terrible apocalypse which I need to know about? He's just defecated in a bush.